Welcome to Health and Wellness. I'm Will, nurse practitioner, and today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between the ANCC and the AANP certifying exams to become a nurse practitioner. So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below because I make content for you, nurses and nurse practitioners, making practical application of your nursing education. All right, so let's dive into the video. So the AANP and the ANCC, what exactly are they? So when a nurse practitioner graduates, they have to take a certifying examination to prove that they are worthy to become licensed as an NP. Once they pass this examination, they apply for state licensure and then can work as a nurse practitioner. Think of this like the NCLEX RN, but for nurse practitioners. The only difference is there's two to choose from and you only have to take one. So you take both exams at a computer testing facility. Now you have to complete the whole test. It doesn't shut off at 75 questions or anything like that. So you must complete all the questions. Now, how many questions are there? That's gonna depend on the test. So the ANCC will vary between 150 and 200 questions over three to four hours. Whereas the AANP will give you 150 questions regardless of the exam and you will have three hours to complete it. So which one do you choose? This really depends on your specific professional goals and your specific testing preference. The first question you're gonna ask yourself is which specialty is your program? This one's great because all the work is done for you. So in order to take these examinations, you have to pass from an accredited nurse practitioner program in your specific specialty. So if you are in an FNP program, you have to take an FNP exam. Now in certain specialties, this choice is made for you because both the AANP and the ANCC have examinations that the others do not. If your program is for acute care, psych, or pediatrics, you have no choice but to take the ANCC. And if your program is in emergency nurse practitioner, you have no choice but to take the AANP. The real decision is if your program is in a family nurse practitioner or adult gerontology primary care nurse practitioner program. And if that's the case, the next question you're going to want to ask yourself is what are your specific testing preferences? A major difference between the AANP and the ANCC is going to be the question style. ANCC will have four styles of questions. Basically, they'll have a normal multiple choice A, B, C, and D. They'll have a multiple response, so select multiple or select all that apply, drag and drop, as well as hotspot. The AANP, on the other hand, will have 100% multiple choice A, B, C, and D, cut and dry, select the right answer, and move on. Another major difference is the question content. Now it depends on the exam, but in general, the ANCC has more questions that are non-clinical, meaning they're gonna ask you questions related to nursing ethics, research and legal considerations, scope of practice, regulatory guidelines, etc. The AANP, on the other hand, is 100% clinical, meaning they're gonna be asking you questions only on the assessment, diagnosis, treatment, and evaluation of various disease processes. Now, the only exception with the AANP is the ENP, or the Emergency Nurse Practitioner Certification Exam. And this exam is basically a whole other content format in general, specific to the ED. So if you're somebody who hated research, ethics, leadership, then you're more likely to wanna to take the AANP. P. But if you're really good at those kind of questions and you really like that, then you should probably take the ANCC. Another factor to consider is which facilities you plan on applying to after certification. Nowadays, most facilities look at both AANP and ANCC certified NPs as basically the same. They're not really gonna care. They only wanna see that you passed your board certification. But every once in a while, you will find a facility that specifically asks for ANCC certification. Now, why is this? I don't know, because it's older, it's more established. They don't focus solely on clinical. Um, so sometimes like magnet hospitals will want this. However, there is no specific requirement for ANCC certification with magnet hospitals. So if the facility that you really wanna work at requires ANCC, take the ANCC exam. Now, the last thing you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is what are your future career goals? Do you plan on obtaining any post-master certifications? If so, it's totally okay to be certified in one specialty by the AANP and another specialty by the ANCC. 
but it's probably easier to just do the same certifying organization versus both. So as an example, if you're an FNP and wanna one day get an ENP certification, it might be better to do the AANP since the ANCC doesn't offer ENP certification. Additionally, if you're an FNP and wanna get an acute care nurse practitioner postmaster certification, you should probably do the ANCC because they're the only ones who do acute care at this time. As a side note, if you're planning on getting into academics with solely your master's degree, some universities do require ANCC over AANP. Another questionable difference is the difficulty of the examinations. So there has long been some rumors that the AANP is a bit easier than the ANCC. Now doing my research, it seems like people tend to think this because for a while, the ANCC had lower pass rates. So people assumed that the AANP was easier because more people were passing. The funny thing is, if you look at the most recent data in 2018, for the FNP examination, the AANP actually had lower pass rates. So following the same logic, the AANP would actually be a harder exam. I think what it really comes down to is your specific testing style and preferences. I guess the only true way to tell is for you to take both and let us all know. But honestly, I don't recommend and I think it's kind of extra. Another difference, not so major, is the cost. So both are expensive, unfortunately. Um, but the AANP, you're gonna be spending $315 for non-members of the AANP. And for the ANCC, you're gonna be spending $395 for non-members of the ANA. So 315 versus $395, it's an $80 difference. It's not huge, but the AANP is cheaper. So that is an overview of the differences between both. In my opinion, one is not better than the other. And the most important thing is that you take it and you crush it. In all honesty, it's better to take either one and pass than to take one that is harder for you and fail. Now, if you're about to graduate, the licensure and credentialing process is long and hard and confusing and you feel like there's no direction. I'm gonna post a link in the description box to a blog post that I wrote specifically outlining how you go about getting licensed for everything and credentialed, et cetera. And I think it's really gonna help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and save some lives.